Hi, this is Olivier in Fort Lauderdale and welcome back to Orchid's house. And today I wanted to talk about my beautiful and deliciously fragrant Cattleya tigrina, which is still usually still called Leopoldii. It's a synonym, but the currently accepted name is supposed to be tigrina. So it's a species, it's a bifoliate species. Uh, so a bit of recap maybe, bifoliate means two leaves, sometimes they even have three. Uh, the bifoliates have typically a lot of flowers, uh, smaller flowers, very uh, waxy, has a lot of texture. Uh, that's in opposition to the unifoliates who only have one leaf and those have usually much larger flowers, uh, very thin uh, texture uh, and the color is nowhere near as saturated. Uh, now I mounted, so there's two of them here actually, so this one is, let me check, Tipo times uh, Albesense and this one is Cirulea, it's already uh, almost spent, they don't last that long, I mean typically 10 or 15 days, this is day 7, this one is only day 2. Uh, so this is Cerulea times uh, Alba uh, and they are both mounted and the reason for mounting them as far as I'm concerned so one of the big drawbacks of a uh, bifoliate Cattleya is that they are extremely fragile when it comes to repotting if you repot at the wrong time it's a death sentence and so typically you have to repot when they start uh, growing new roots but if you make a mistake that's it typically the other thing is that most of them really don't like overwatering so by uh, mounting them there's no risk of overwatering them the drawback is they have to be watered every day when they are in growth so that's the negative so as you can tell these are very aggressive rooters uh, they're both three years old so you see there's roots everywhere uh, let me see if I can get you here at the back so very thick root ball uh, when they grow I water them every day in the summer I may even have to water them twice if I have time uh, but they also need a rest so typically after flowering they will stop growing for a little while and during that time uh, very little water is needed it's actually advised in terms of light, uh, I moved them here for the presentation, but I grow them in uh, direct light, direct sunlight, three or four hours a day. So they get very high light and they seem to like it. And I fertilize them uh, weekly, uh, weekly, weekly. So half, half a dose, but uh, every week. Uh, these are spectacular flowers. Huh? I mean, look at that. Uh, so this is Tipo times Albesense. I asked a friend who's a specialist of Cattleyas and he tells me Tipo typically, which is the standard color for uh, the species, typically dominates and this is really what happened here. I don't see anything that uh, looks like the Albesense. So it's basically a, a Cattleya tigrina Tipo. There's another species called Gutata, which is very similar. Uh, but one easy way to tell them apart so you see these ones they bloom from green sheets and they bloom in May June which is these two they will only bloom once a year so this is when they bloom and uh, it's now uh, mid-May and so this is normal the guitata will bloom in September and instead of the green sheet it will bloom from a brown sheet so that's one of the easiest way uh, to tell them apart now to get back to the name uh, so many orchids have had a name change, there are different reasons for that, uh, more recently it's because of DNA uh, studies that have shown that what we thought was not correct and so um, orchids are being reclassified. In this case this is a very uh, old species, it was discovered already in the 1840s and in those days it was not uncommon to have the same plant discovered by different adventurers 
And the rule is that the first one who describes it, gives it a name and, and publishes it, well, that's the name that sticks to posterity. So I'm not quite sure uh, when the renaming happens. Uh, I can tell you that I see labels mostly uh, calling them Leopoldii, and Leopoldii is named after the first king of Belgium, who was uh, Leopold I. Uh, and I'm not sure where Tigrina comes from, but apparently uh, Tigrina was published first, and so that's why it's supposed to be called Tigrina. But like I said, most of the time you'll still see uh, a label that, that calls them Neopoldii. So I think that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.